just keep doubling up on themselves and to my mind breaks the flow of what was a beautiful circuit in the Group C days. I mean it's 32 years since I first went there but I've been many many times since and I have to say I, I don't like that end of the circuit now. Yeah it's a difficult element there's no two ways about that you have the really fast flowing elements as we're in now and then it gets very tricky and that's Olivier Pla around the outside Imperator is going to get oh. balked and it was a bit reminiscent of <laughs> Schumacher Hakkinen at Spa all of those years Ra ago around Ricardo Zonta exactly <laughs> yeah do you remember that <laughs> yes. that was brilliant uh, wasn't it unless you're a KCMG fan <laughs> because they've lost out in spectacular fashion not much I think yeah. Imperatore could have done there Olivier Plara breaks himself <laughs> nearly hands the position back but he read that beautifully didn't he and then uh, probably so so pleased of himself as you say <laughs> almost went off at the next corner but uh that really, really swoopy Ligier. What a great uh, season they've had with that car. Brand new this year, of course. Everyone wants them now because they just know how well the Ligier works. And it's put Guy Ligier really back on the map. I mean, he raced sports cars. He built sports cars. He had his own Formula One team. And then suddenly here we are in 2014, 40 years later. He's a name again. He is indeed. So Plark fully committed in the Ligier. Saw the fact that Imperatore was going to get balked by the Porsche and kept his foot in very brave because if either of those cars had made a move